Modern art. It's the modern art here. We are using that paintings by using colors. But here, the major things that we are going to see is carvings, drawing, paintings, and also molding. Uh, the carvings people are shifted from caving the uh, the uh, the rocks and using uh, these ones, the sculptures. But could you just come close and give you a form education? Here we have. I wish you could, hey brother, I wish you could hear all of this. Can we just, let me call them. I need them to hear. We, Africa, we are, I mean, I have to speak as Tanzania, we have informal education. So this informal education is normally for the, the, the baby or the kids that or the age to mature it. And here, these are the organs, for the male and female. This present, female, and this is the male organ. Okay, so this, uh, for the Zaramo people, the first people, I mean, uh, the indigenous in Dar es Salaam. Uh, these are the teaching ideas. And they were doing this, I to uh, I'll just give the information on why are they doing this. So, uh, for the maturity age, uh, for the young lady that is on the maturity uh, uh, and they are on the uh, uh, time that's for uh, yes, yep. So the the young ladies normally they started from nine, ten uh, to twelve, far from the uh, the boys. So for the young girls, they be taken to the special rooms. For the age of 9, 10 to 12, they have some teeth. Right? Okay? So they be told that, hey, you have some teeth. You should not allow anyone to touch them. Are we there? If you allow so, means that why touching you here, you be opening the other side. <laughs> Are you agree with me that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So why touching you? We'll be opening another area. Right, right. So if you open the door, he has the key. Uh, <laughs> so if you allow him to, to, to use him, to use his material or his keys, mm -hmm. having what? Okay. I'm pregnant. Mm -hmm. Are we there? Yeah. So this is the aim was the to prevent them from the early pregnancy, but also they were given education on how to take care of their husband. Mm -hmm. After the right age, to, that's from 18 years, uh, to, to have the husband and wife, they be also taken to the special and give them education on how to take care of their husband. The other thing was the waste bits. They be taught on how the importance of uh, waste bits are. Thus, uh, the waste bits, they are being taught on how to count the menstruation days. So they'll be using the red one on the first day that they started breeding. The second, the third, if you should just go on the third or the fourth. And the rest, they'll be using the white one. Till that, if she nearly found that, okay, I'm about to, tomorrow, I'll be starting my period. From there, she will start preparing herself. But also, uh, on how they want to her husband is if she's on the menstruation period, she wears a red bead on her waist. That's her husband will never demand for the sex. That the husband understand my wife is on menstruation period. If she wears black and white, uh, white means that. She's ready for the having a baby. If she was blood, means she's okay at any time. She's ready and it's safe days. That's how things are. Then that was the uses of the waste bits. But now things have been changed. We have cha we have changed. But apart from that, but I have apart from that, the waste bits that we have right now are being mixed. With different colors. So you'll never understand what does it mean. Yeah. 
But the aim of the waste beads was to take care of her husband. And that's, uh, uh, what do we call, we call it, uh, how to plan to have the babies. How many kids do you wish to have them? Uh, for how long? It depends. So through that is the way of uh, respecting your husband, respecting your wife. Right now we have to have some uh, uh, problems like people that are still in marriage, but they're raping one another. That's having a sex without uh, uh, someone to be ready means that you're forcing him or her. So that's kinds of rape. So by that time, there are no such a thing. And these are the things that are still happening today. So the informed education is still there. So the African education will be there and there. Years and years. So all of these, again, these are the pictures that shows different meanings and different uh, information. So for instance, this one here, just a simple. The SNBC, uh, SI in 1970s, we Tanzania, we Tanzania, uh, we first drought and hunger. So this is the effects of drought and hunger. So the Sai used this that people they have to take care of the environment to avoid sleeping. People should not uh, over cattle raiding along the water source, cutting down the trees, thus deforestations and all other factors that can be read to the drought. Mm -hmm. So drought leads to that. Exactly. Because if the drought means that no food, mm -hmm. no food, people get die, and other things. So we can just go around, if you just saw anything that you need to, uh, more explanation, then it'll be there. Okay. Yeah. 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 You should be here. Establish 1890. This is our first This is our second our first This is so we don't have the fourth one, but oh yeah, not yet. Celebration of uh, that's why you can see people on top of the island. They are just happy. Yeah, Putting each other up. Just family, pull each other up. It's about nation building. Mm -hmm. 